Hello there everybody, I am Mr. Riddlesworth and welcome to Life After Us Fading Light. Now I really really do love these Life After Us stories, they're pretty cool. They're nicely made, as you can tell. Looks awesome. Well, without further ado, let's go through the door. To press E? Yes. While touring the old Arkham Caverns, I decided to stray from the group. As I explored a lesser known part of the cave, I felt the ground collapse and I fell into the darkness. I awoke with my flashlight broken. I stumbled around in the dark until I came upon an old lantern. Ah, Piers! <laughs> okay. I don't think I need to learn the controls. I think I've learned them enough already. Uh, what do we have here? Have some notes. Come on, is it click or is it E? It's E. We were exploring the cave when we felt the cave floor collapse under us. We survived the fall, but my leg is broken and I can't walk. And John is fine. He's going to scout ahead and try to find a way out of here. I could hear footsteps in the dark. Thinking it was John lost in the dark, I called out. As I did, the footsteps stopped and all I could hear was a deep breathing followed by nothing. Ooh. Okay. So creepy as hell. How we survived that fall I'll never know. Simon's leg is broken. I've left one of the oil lamps with him and taken one to look for a way out. It's strange. This section of the cave is undiscovered, but there are man-made structures. How old could they be? Yes, how old indeed. Maybe an ancient civilization built them down here. You never know. Okay. Ooh, this looks cool. Um, I want to have a look around. Just a little bit. See if there's anything hidden in the darkness. I don't think there is. What's that? That looks like a figure. Holy fuck. Ooh, as I make my way through the cave, I keep thinking, I hear movement, or the sound of scratching. The darkness must be playing tricks on me. Nope, I think there is definitely something here. Is that? That looks like a crystalline dude. Oh, it is crystal. Cool. That looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Make a necklace out of one. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Yes, you keep walking. I'll kick you in a bath. I've seen the remains of people and some old notes from some sort of expedition. I don't know how old they are, but we are clearly not the first down here. It's been so long since I have a, had a drink of water or something to eat. I keep thinking I see something moving in the dark. Yeah, there's definitely something moving in the dark. Definitely something moving in the dark. Moving. In the darkness. Okay. This is creepy as hell. You get a feeling of claustrophobia. The Journal of Charles Hawthorne. We have found the lower parts of the cave along with man-made structures, proving that at least some group of old once lived here. We will begin looking for the book next. The book? What kind of book? Okay. Okay, seems to get smaller. smaller. Oh, left or right? Um, ooh, we'll go right. Okay, there's a page. Must have been the right choice. I hope it was the right choice. Ooh, so many noises. Okay. Journal of Charles Hawthorne. So far, no luck. It's hard to navigate the caves and parts keep falling in. We will not give up the search. We can't give up. We have come too far for it. So, they came down here looking for this book. What kind of book? Oh, that, that way's fallen in. I've noticed I have a health bar again on this one. 
So maybe this skinny brown creature that we saw is harmful to our health. Oh, piss. Oh, can I go up there? Ooh, I can. I can and I will. I can and I am. I just thought there wasn't another piece of paper down the other way. Down the other direction of the cave I could have gone. Oh, I can't freaking go anywhere anyway. Leads up to a dead end. What a spoon I am. Well, you don't know unless you explore. Okay, I just saw something. Oh, it's just the water in the, in the cave. Oh. It's really creepy because the, the lantern keeps flickering and going out a little bit and then relighting. Holy balls. Holy fudge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The noises seem to get more intense as well. A lot more deeper. Okay, I don't know what they are, but I, I think they are moving things. I don't know. Oh, they're just on the fleshy underbelly of the mushroom. Thank God my mouth is getting so dry. Ooh, more crystals. I can't see another note. Big old spider webs, though. They're cool. So they look. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Ooh, beautiful caves. Anyway, as I was saying, the other explorers were looking for some sort of book. Um, I wonder if I need to find this book in order to find my way out. However, I'm a bit disturbed with the fact that I have a health bar and it made a a point of telling me that I could sprint. Oh crap. I found a way out. I could feel the wind from behind the rocks. I know there has to be a passage out through here. I just need something to break the rocks. I'll just rest for a while before I look. Jesus, I'm so hungry and thirsty. I just want to sleep. I need to look for some kind of explosive, maybe. Maybe. Oh! Holy fuck! Is that back here? Nope. Holy balls, this is good. Whew. And the light's flickering even more and more. Of the cave has just collapsed. I freaking heard something. Stay away, I'll kick you in the balls. What's that? Mushroom again. Holy hell. I am so paranoid right now. Ooh, and I am not. Meaning that lightly. Holy crap. Oh, this water. Can I drink this? Can I go into it? Will I die? Well, I'm in it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where did the cave collapse? That is the question. Maybe it left again. Hmm. I'm feeling so uneasy, it is unbelievable. Ooh. Every little something I can see in the distance sounds like something, well, looks like something. Maybe something opened up here. Huh? 
No way, I can freaking jump. Nothing up there. Damn it. I might have to go back the way. I... Ooh, that was very disconcerting when all the noises buggered off. Ooh, yeah, I'm sweating. I really am sweating a lot. So, not up there. Not up there. Back to where I came. Well, I'm gonna have to wipe my hands. Jesus. Sorry. Holy balls. <laughs> I'm just gonna head back to where I came from. Shh. Holy balls. Oh dear. Holy fucker. Fucker fuck. Holy piss. Ooh, what the hell was that? It's still coming after me. Holy balls. Holy crap. I can't freaking move. I can't <gasps> move. Shoot. I don't know if that was purposefully done by the developer or it was just a glitch, but that was horrible. Being stuck like that and thinking that that big thing was coming for me. Come on, please say this buggered off so I can find where the uh, broken cave piece is. Holy crap, the light. Come on, cast a bit further. Holy hell. Come on, steady out. Hey, this is totally changed then. Come on, read it. Read it. Journal of Charles Hawthorne. One of the men went missing last night and the others say they keep hearing noises. A bunch of crap, if you ask me. We have found a new passage and I think it may lead us to what we want. Holy balls. But what do they want is my question. They definitely said they wanted a book. I remember that. Holy balls, my eyes are burning. Am I blinking that little that my eyes are starting to dry? Holy crap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Awesome atmosphere in this game. Holy balls. Just don't come out of the darkness at me again, you motherfucker. <laughs> that wasn't a request, by the way. I kick in the balls. I'm telling you. you. Come at me, bro. I'm going to kick in the nuts. Oh, shyster. Who's there's another page down there. I'm still going to take it steady because it could be right next to the page. Holy fucker. <gasps> oh, I thought so, I'm then. Starts to play uh, tricks on you. I was just about to say, why is the page just floating there? Journal of Charles Hawthorne. We found it. My God, we found the old temple. The Necronomicon must lie within. We will push inside the... Oh, shit. It... I definitely saw that. I don't want to be messing with the Book of the Dead. Holy crap. Holy balls. I'm so scared right now. I'm like a big girly pants and I don't care. This game is freaking scary, man. Holy balls. <laughs> the 
pick pick it up. <laughs> what blew out my lantern? Find a source of light. Are you freaking kidding me? Fuck, 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 fuck. Go, 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 go. Go. Ah, piss! Oh, fuck! Fucker! Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Well done, Dan Kenny. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> That was an emotional roller coaster and a half. The constant feeling of having somebody behind you was there. And I got the feeling of claustrophobia as well. Like I knew that I couldn't run anywhere if something did come. I know I did eventually when I saw one of those skinny things, but holy crap. That game is awesome. Definitely play it for yourself. It's an experience and a half. It is. Ugh. And there were very little jump scares as well, which made it even worse because it was all mental. I think it was designed to give you the feeling of claustrophobia and having nowhere to go, which heightened the feeling of panic with, within me as well, which obviously it'll, it'll probably be the same for everybody that plays this game. But holy balls, that was cool. So definitely play it for yourself, it's on Game Jolt. If you liked the video, please click the like button. If you didn't, leave me a, a nigga, you know, a thumbs down and call me a Wally or something stupid. Uh, leave me a comment, you know, the usual. If you're not a subscriber and you would love to be, just give the subscribe button a big old screen. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Much love. Peace <laughs> out. Go, 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 go